Hey everyone, and welcome back to Amori. Quick recap before we continue uh, the activities for today. So we came here looking for Basil, we looking specifically for a library uh, underneath the castle that might provide some answers to his disappearance. Unfortunately, not a whole lot uh, to be found as far as Basil is concerned, but Sweetheart is is here, or was here, uh, as sort of the uh, the cult leader of the mole people, if you, if you will. So um, we competed on her, uh, her bachelor-style game show, uh, got thrown in the dungeon, escaped the dungeon, ran around performing tasks in the castle, came here to the wedding where she was going to get married to herself. And... Um, to kick it all off, or to, to end it all, um, oh, I almost forgot, most importantly, once we got out of the castle, we fought a ver veritable bevy of bears in the courtyard. That was exciting. Uh, and then we had to fight Sweetheart herself. We beat her after a couple tries, and then uh, it, it ended with uh, her, her ex coming back and, and whisking her off in what is uh, bound to be a, a questionable decision. Uh, but at the end of all that, after all that occurred, uh, we saw kind of the shadow form of Basil along with the, uh, the the smoke monster or the shadowy something, whatever you want to call it, kind of appear at the front of this um, of this auditorium. And so that's what we're going to check out right now is uh, see if we have the ability to, to do a little investigating. So here we go. Long way down. Do you want to jump? Is this where we overcome our fear of heights? I think we've got to... It's the leap of faith, right? Well, we survived, but um, where we are, now that I think about it, um, the library visited before was in the castle, it wasn't exactly underneath, so this, this now that I think about it, is almost exactly what we want to be, uh, to have found, so here we go, and there's the, that egret or orchid again, that, um, is very symbolic of, of the loss and such. And the soundtrack is just great. One by one, they fell asleep on the car ride home. It was a long day at the beach, after all, and everyone was exhausted. Blank was the first to nod off, then the rest. As the sun set over the freeway, Blank's head accidentally drops onto Blank's shoulder. The sun jolt wakes him, but he doesn't dare open his eyes. He pretends to be asleep and steadies his breathing. He listens to the sound of the road. He feels the soft sun resting on his skin and the slight tinge of pain on his nose from tomorrow's sunburn. He is happy. Very, very happy. And he makes a vow to himself that no matter what, he will remember this moment forever. There were no names there, but if I had to guess, we that's probably a narrative of our life, maybe our diary. Uh, and maybe Aubrey kind of falling asleep and putting her head on our shoulder. That's um, it's kind of my best guess at the moment. All right, no way to get around here. Let's 
check out another book. A puddle of juice sinks into the carpet. Hovering above it is none other than blank, holding an open juice box. He looks around at his friends, who are all wearing the same face of disappointment. He lets out a guilty chuckle. In what seems then like less than a second, Blank dis disappears out the front door. A tiny black kitten makes her way through the stain, leaving sloppy, wet tracks all across the carpet. Blank's face turns red and yells for Blank, but Blank is already long gone. Blank hands Blank some wet paper towels. It looks like they're the only adults here. And if they don't clean this up soon, the carpet is going to stain. They'll have to deal with Blank later. So, first thing I notice is that whenever names are referred to, there's kind of a different number of squares that um, seem to describe them. So Kel, for instance, could be the one with, with three squares. Um, Hero is four. Aubrey is A U B R E Y is six. Amori is one, two, three, four, five. So that's um that's possible. And then Mari Mari is four. Actually, you know what? Let's let's test that theory and see if that makes sense in this last one. So let's read that read that again. So sinks into the carpet is none other, other than Kel. That would because that would fit in the in those boxes. Um, he lets out a guilty chuckle, that sounds like him. And then Kel disappears out the front door. Um, it could be Hero. Hero's face turns red and yells for Kel, but Kel is already long gone. Mari, uh, probably, hands Hero some wet paper towels. It looks like they're the only adults here, and if they don't clean this up soon, the carpet's going to stain. They'll have to deal with Kel later. That's, so that's kind of my theory. Let's see if we can find any other journals that uh, might confirm that. It was a hot summer day, and all blank could think about was why they couldn't do this tomorrow. I'm not sure what a single box would be. Maybe it's, maybe it's the author, maybe it's us, Amori slash Gideon. That's my theory. The backyard was a mess. Planks of wood were strewn about the area. Paint stains blotched the grass thanks to... Aubrey is one of those for sure. And maybe Amori? Oh, also Basil. I forgot that he, he could probably be referenced in here. So probably uh, Basil definitely because he's a, he's got the green thumb. And... Uh, a-U-B-R-E-Y, Aubrey's work. All day, I'm just going to say Amori, or Gideon, uh, watched Hero lug planks of wood back and forth from his dad's pickup truck. He watched Kel hammer his fingers over and over, and made note that over an hour has passed since Mari has climbed down her ladder. I will just be their moral support, Gideon thought, as he sat sleepily in the shade of his favorite tree. Of course he knew this wouldn't be the case. Soon his friends will be asking for his help, and he won't be able to refuse. The treehouse is for everyone, so it's only fair that everyone puts some work into it. Gideon knows this and agrees, but reluctantly. He slides up and wobbles his way to the mess. He knows he should put in his fair share. It just had to be on the hottest day of the summer. It's interesting, I, I think that that theory is pretty well confirmed, considering a lot of the personality traits fit. Oh, wow. I just saw uh, Mari walk down the stairs over there. The, uh, her, her spirit or what have you. Okay. This year, Amori was lucky enough, or I should say Gideon, because this is his real world, uh, was lucky enough to get assigned to a desk next to the small window. Every day during class, Amori would gaze listlessly through the opening, at the shadows of the trees, the clouds creeping overhead. His mind drifted elsewhere, into his own worlds, his own stories, his own adventures. He had a habit of doing this. It was easy for him to get lost. 
Today was the same as any other. Gideon stared vacantly out the small window as the clouds passed one by one. Suddenly a hand playfully slaps his back, snapping him out of his reverie. Amori looks away, sorry, Gideon looks away from the opening. Kel smiles. He motions that class is over and that it's finally time for lunch. It's pizza day today and they need to bolt to the cafeteria before it's all gone. Gideon's stomach growls. He looks at the small window one last time. He would have to continue his adventure another day. So even before he experienced the loss of of Mari, he was already sort of crafting his um, his fantasy worlds. It's sunset. A strange statue watches over the hidden lake. It might have meant something significant in the past, but time has made its engravings illegible. Either way, it doesn't matter to the company visiting it today. They're only here to use it as a diving board. The brothers take turns jumping off the statue. Hero jumps first, then Kel. Then Hero again, then Kel again. The brothers gleefully urge Gideon to join them, and after some careful thought, Gideon warily, warily agrees. Gideon shuffles up the statue and looks down at the moving water. He can hear his heartbeat. His ears begin to ring. His legs feel as if they would give out at any time. He tries to focus on his breathing. He feels something crawling on his shoulder and his eyes fly open to meet with those of a black spider. In an instant, Gideon loses all sense and hurls himself into the lake. Water fills his nose. He exerts his limbs, but the water is stronger. He's too weak, too helpless, or that is what he believes. Gideon shuts his eyes and waits for the brothers to save him. So that indicates that he's had a, a fear of water for quite some time. Well, I guess multiple things were part of that story, right? Spiders, heights, water, the unknown. Let's just check over here real quick so we don't miss anything. Everyone is over again today. The special occasion is Saturday morning. From 7 a.m. to 11 a.m., a group of six friends eat a delicious homemade breakfast and watch TV together. It's the most enjoyable part of every week. Gideon looks at the clock, 8 a.m., two hours left. He would be able to watch with everyone else until 10 a.m. when his tutor arrives. Gideon grimaces. What he thought would be a rewarding hobby has been nothing more than a nuisance. Instead of watching the shows with the rest of his friends, he'll be the only one to miss out. If only he could watch the last hour with everyone else. If only he didn't have to play the violin. Something is opened. Let's go ahead and check the other side. Um, not sure what it could be. Oh, we've got another letter. Six keys left, and there's a door there. So, okay. I'm guessing it's going to say, Welcome to Black Place. That's what I would, uh, that's what I would guess. Um, okay, I'm not sure if this is the... That, that is a way to go, but I don't want to get too far, because I also noticed this over here. Um, is there any way to get into the light? Is that a bunch of spiders there? Oh, I could just walk here. Oh, whoops. Alright, so that's that's good. I first, I'm glad that, that more often than not they let us go back. Because um, I didn't want to uh, to miss out on that. Now I see something hanging to the right over here. Yeah, I didn't mean to click on that. Um, 
I guess those are just those are just the, the way that the shadows are. Part of this shelf has been cleared out. There's a hole here. Look into the hole. Yeah. Of course. Don't forget, it's in the toy box. Oh. Well, that's too bad. Um, I was hoping that we would be able to go to that room with, with Basil in it, but I guess we'll just have to go back again. I mean, we know how to get there. We just jump into that hole in the uh, in the church or whatever you want to call it. There's no, um, oh, there they are. Yeah, take me back. This is, um, always the toughest part. Two days left. It's probably Kel, come to start our day again. Got a new message. Hey, Gideon, it's Mom. Are you doing okay? You haven't been answering my calls or responding to my voicemails. If you keep ignoring me, I'll start to get worried again. Hope you're pacing your chores. I don't think even I could finish everything in one day. Did you end up visiting Kel? If not, it's alright. I understand. Just take the things at your own pace. By the way, can you check the closet downstairs and see if there's anything you want to keep? We'll probably just throw away whatever you don't want anymore. Only two days left before I come pick you up. Okay, that's it for now. Mom loves you. Bye, honey. Click. Now, we got a little bit of a hint about the toy chest, so we should be on the lookout for that. Let's, uh, but let's get the door first. Or maybe we should check the closet. Is this the closet here? Survey says it is not the closet. Okay, I guess we'll answer the door first. Hello? Gideon? Are you there? Let's see who it is. It's Cal again. Top of the morning to you. Well, more like noon, actually. It actually turns out Hero's not coming back until around dinner today, so I thought I'd drop by a little later. Mom is having me buy some stuff at Faraway Plaza before he comes back, and I thought it might be funner if we went together. Do you want to come along? Of course you do. Let's go. Alright, here we are again. I wonder if there's a way for us to go back in. Okay, well, I guess we can't do that. So let's... Let's save. So a few thoughts here. I hope I didn't. Uh, I hope I didn't mess up by not checking that room with the piano. Uh, I had thought that maybe we would have a chance to um, to go back and get it. It's it's hard to know which rooms are advancing to the next level, and which ones um, are are just there for your, you know, your awareness. Cal smells. Must have been Aubrey and the Scooter Gang. To be honest, do I smell? Mm, 
maybe a little. He looks like he could be kind of sweaty. Hold up. No, it's been a while since you've been over... Oh, okay. Fine, we won't go in there. Um... Right, so what what do we want to do right now? Just go to the faraway plaza? No response. Alright, we should go check in on some of the houses that we... that we know. I always forget which ones are which. Like the, the ones where we were uh, tutoring the kids. I think this is one of them, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it is. Uh, let's see if there's anybody at home. No one here. No one here. I guess everyone's upstairs, huh? Alright, so we want to go about do our chores, do our business. Uh, we also want to check the closet when we get back. Got a lot to do. A lot going on. Alright, there's our bud. Hey there, tutor. Um, actually I have a big favor to ask. Laid on me, bro. Been cramped in this room all summer. Keep hearing the other kids hanging out outside while I'm at my desk with my nose stuck in these worksheets. Uh, I just want to go out and play at the park, even if it's just for a day. My mom said she would be out running errands all day, so this is probably the only chance I'll get. Could you help me finish today's worksheet? Absolutely. We are... We are the bomb at either uh, math or English, whichever house this is. Alright, let's do it. Oh, you mean you actually want us to do it for you? I thought we were going to kind of help them work together. Well, uh, I guess one time we can't, uh, can't hurt. Alright, 7 plus 2 times 9 equals. So, order of operations, multiplication usually goes first. Uh, 18 plus 7 is 25. Uh, 5, 5x squared equals 80, um, so is that saying, yeah, 5x squared, so what would that be? So divide both sides by 5, um, 80 divided by 5 would be, mental math, 16. Uh, so x is 4. 4 or negative 4. Good, we, we can't forget the... Uh, was it called the binomial? Whatever the, uh, the opposite is, but, uh, but negative. And for the last question, compute the standard deviation of the following numbers. Oh. Okay. Uh, 43, 47, 53, 39, 40, and 60. <laughs> Give the Z score for a value of a hundred rounded to the nearest third decimal. Um, so I'm trying to remember. Um, I'm guessing it's um, it's the it's the average of the distance away from the average, if that makes sense. So okay, so like forty plus sixty is a hundred. 47 plus 53 is 100, so that's uh, that's 200. 243 plus 39, that's 273, 282. So what's 282 divided by 6? Oh boy, I didn't think I'd be doing math like this. All right, 282 divided by 6. Watch me just be totally wrong at this, right? So 6 times 4 is 24, carry the 4. 6 times 7 is 47. So 47 is the average, so the deviation would be um, how far each one is away for from, uh, from that. So 43 is 4 away, 53 is 6 away, 39 is 8 away, 40 is 7 away, and 60 is uh, 13 away. So if you add those up, that's 20, um, 38, 38 divided by 5, 5 times 7, carry the 3, it's like 7 point, I don't know, maybe I did this wrong, it's like 7.6, um, so hang on, can we go back, oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Oh no, all that hard work. I was just trying to go back for a quick second to see. I think I think the answer was like 47, because it's like, oh, I don't know. 
It's too late now. Sorry, Brent. You might you might get one of those wrong. Uh, okay. Well, now I feel like a goose. Oh well. I feel like we deserve a gold star for uh, spending as much time as, on that as we did. All right, no Madre at home. Man, I really thought I don't know why why hitting uh, back would make us uh, lose out on the sheet. It's kind of a bummer. Oh well. At least we get the chance to do some uh, some English homework now. Whichever one. Uh, oh no, it's not this one. It's the next one. Next house over. If memory serves. Yep. All right. I think we'll just head straight upstairs. Hello, young lady. Hi, Mr. Tudor. Um, sorry, this may seem kind of selfish. You see, my dad isn't home today because he's out running errands. Been studying in my room all summer. Yeah, we've heard this before. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got- we, we know how this is done. Wait, you mean you'll let me go? Uh... Alright, yeah, yeah, fine, fine. Well, the English, English uh, part of the works uh, English part of the, um, of the, uh, the worksheets is typically the easier one. Alright, let's finish it. We're promoting academic dishonesty, but, you know, you only, only live once. This glass of lemonade is refreshing. What is the correct abbreviation for the word wait? WT. What word means to move forward on the hands, uh, and knees? It's to crawl. Okay. Well, that was significantly easier than the, uh, than the math one. That is an old hat on it. Well, can we take said old hat? No, I guess not. I felt like that would be proper compensation for being a whiz, whiz at math. Or at least a whiz at English sheet music. Alright. Our work here is done. Mostly done. We did get one... Possibly two questions wrong on the, uh, on the math. But you know what? We're just a bunch of kids. What are we gonna do? Alright, hello, madam. Well, hello again. I must thank you again for helping me get my medicine yesterday. You know, you kids remind me of two of my sons when they were young. Those two were quite different from each other, but got along very well. People would always say they balanced each other out. <laughs> I may not look it, but I'm turning 64 this year. I've had seven kids in my lifetime, but everyone's moved out except my eldest son and my youngest daughter. My eldest son never leaves his room, though, so he probably won't ever leave. He's probably a gamer. You know how gamers are. You know how they are. Let's go check in on them. Oh, wrong one. Sorry. Um, fancy tea party for two. Oh, very nice. What's this letter? A love letter on the table. Hmm, who could it be for? Well, why don't we open it and read it, dum-dum? Alright, I guess not. Fine. Didn't want to read a stupid love letter anyway. Uh, where's the son who never leaves his room? Maybe he's in the downstairs room. Oh yeah, there he is. Definitely a gamer. We can take this trash. A. Uh. Oh, that's the wrong type of trash, apparently. We can't get it for that sweet, sweet money. What's up, man? If you are boasting why I'm so much more pandemic than you are, it's solely due to my philosophy major. My tenure has led me to my most elephantine discovery of all. Everyone is a hundred. No, maybe one thousand years too early in time to comprehend my genius. Pithy me no more with your occupancy. You can't perceive anything I interject into your cerebrum anyway. Yeah, good stuff. Why yes, that peripheral you ponder over there is my duly betrothed. I'd appreciate it if you keep your optical appendages in their sheaths. She assimilates my confab better than anyone and anything else. She's such a sweetheart, and we love each other. 
Now leave us alone. Sweetheart, eh? I've heard that one before. She was a little bit more, um, clothed then. Anyway, it's none of my business. None of my beeswax. Alright, so we're done here. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Traffic cones are, are an insurmountable obstacle for us, we know. So we're done here on this street. Um, why don't we go ahead... We just came from that direction. Let's just do a quick sweep around and see what's going on. No response. I always forget which one is which. Okay. No, not that one. Where is, um... Is it the church is right over here? Yeah, we're probably persona non grata here at this point. I would guess after causing a little bit of a scene. Hello, Padre. I'm getting a strange feeling from the cemetery here all day today. You don't say. Well, we are professional Ghostbusters. I was to go check it out. Hello, old beardy. Something in the air seems amiss lately. The spirits, they are howling. It sounds like they're preparing a welcoming party. Someone close by may be joining them soon. That's not what you want to hear. What's with that look? You think I'm crazy or something? No, I'm afraid you're too right, actually. Don't be so quick to judge. You'd be leave it to if you've seen what I have seen. I, um, I believe you, old-timer. Teddy bear. Yeah, let's just do a quick sweep around. See if anything has changed from the last time we've been here. Okay, everything seems to be in order. There's uh there's that grave up top. But um Symbol of Faraway Town, blah blah blah. Yeah, we, we know this. We read that before. I guess let's check on this grade grave. And that we we read before. Mari's grave. But um nothing I can really see to interact with, I guess. I don't know, maybe we should we check in with him one more time? No. Okay, he's just gonna say thing the, the same thing over again. Alright. Well, I guess we're we're good for now. Why don't we make our way uh, at least up to the plaza? And uh, back to much more cheerful, uh, cheerful experiences. I guess we can go across the street and check in on, um, oh, who was it? The guy? Oh, well, Basil, certainly. Yeah, of course. Hello. Basil been, hasn't been taking care of his flowers lately. Hope he feels better soon. His flowers need him. As do we. Okay. Um, excuse me. Could you let us in? We want to kind of see our friend. I guess the answer is no. Where did that guitar player guy live? Because I wanted to follow up on him. Nope. Is him and, uh, was it his sister live around here? Artist. My dog Lucas ran out of the door again. He's always trying to get out of the house. Sometimes I wonder if he only lives here for the food. Uh, where'd he go this time? He would be happy to... Help fetch your dog for you, if we see them. There's a ball, I guess we can't pick that up. Well, if we see a lost dog, we will return him to you post-haste. Alright, um, so what have we not checked yet? We've done, we've done there. There's more trash. There's those weirdos again over there. Um, oh, maybe Kel is over here. Or, um, not Kel, you're Kel. Um, Hero. Hello. Oh, you're not gonna talk to me? Man, these guys are hard to catch. There we go. Oh. Okay. I didn't expect him to disappear. Alright, well, let's collect up all the trash, get a little bit of, um, spending money. 
Guess we'll talk to the janitor guy. Hey pals, good to see ya. These new recultist folk have been showing up here are making a real big change around here. It's the first time I've seen so many people taking the initiative to pick up trash. Makes my job a whole lot easier. <laughs> Something about them feels a little fishy though. Yeah, I uh, I don't blame you. Large metal cat. I guess we can turn in the um, the trash that we found so far, huh? Maybe we should just do a quick sweep around here. There's one. We will take that off your hands. We will take that off your hands. Uh, oh. Well, hello there. Hey, Kel. Hey, Gideon. Sup, Basil? Nice to see you out and about. You feeling better after yesterday? Huh? Yesterday? What do you mean? You had a big stomachache, didn't you? That's why you had to go to the bathroom? Ah, oh, right. I feel much better now. Do you want to hang out with us today? Gideon's not going to be around for much longer, you know. Yeah, I think he knows that a little too well. I don't know. Maybe tomorrow? Sorry. Uh, don't worry, you don't have to force yourself. We can always catch up later. Yeah, you're right. Okay, then. See you later, then, I guess. Huh. Alright. Well... Maybe, um, well, let's go ahead and turn in our trash, and then maybe that would be a good time to take a quick break. Got some trash with us. Yes, please. Seven dollars. Oh, boy. So we're up to 47. Very nice. Let's go ahead and save. I would love to. And with that, um, let's go ahead and check out, uh, you know, the plaza and, um, we'll find that house eventually that had the guitar player and check in with them and, uh, yeah, I hope you're you're enjoying it, uh, guys. And um, the library that we just went through at the beginning of the episode was definitely, I would say, probably one of the more enjoyable parts for me personally. Just kind of hearing about their uh, their experiences and kind of the the writing device there of of not including the names and you you figuring it out uh, as you go. I thought was pretty cool. So, uh, hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, leave a like and a comment if you want to uh, kind of engage and let me know what uh, what you're thinking. And don't worry, we'll be back here in not too long. Bye for now.